Glen Isla, very, very uncommon, not to be confused with its sister distillery, Strath Isla. Glen Isla actually isn't a distillery. It's, uh, this is an experimental bottling made at Glen Keith Distillery, which is near Strath Isla Distillery in the town of Keith. Um, it dates from 1977 and was bottled at 28 years old in 2006 by Signatory um, Vintage. Um, this is drawn from a hogshead. It doesn't say whether it's American or European oak and quite difficult to tell. It's obviously a refill cask. Is that amber or golden? Well, we'll find out when we, when we nose it. Um, and it's come out at 48.6% alcohol by volume. Most uncommon. Again, I think that this is... Um, I've certainly never tasted this whiskey before. Uh, and as, so far as I'm aware, there are very, very few bottlings of it. Okay. It is very difficult to tell by the colour, whether it's American oak or European oak. The nose is, is closed, actually. It's got a slightly waxed paper and dried flowers. Yeah, dried flowers, not grass. It's not cereal notes. It's a, it's a very, very mellow whiskey with some sweetness behind. Not heather honey, but a, perhaps a... Um... Oh, yes, it's almost like a honey-glazed meat. It's, it's opening up as, as I talk, becoming slightly more... It is, I'm now thinking of honey-glazed ham, more the fatty side of honey-glazed ham. This was supposed to be, I read, um, a peated version, but it's, there's no trace of smoke in this one. Mm, it's got a distinct, it's delicious. It's a distinctly um, pork, sort of ham flavour left in the mouth, lingering. I, it's still difficult to tell whether, it's, whether, whether the wood is, is American or, um, um, or European. Soft, soft mouthfeel, sweet overall, drying slightly, and a lingering finish. An unusual whiskey, very unusual. And the like of it will uh, probably never be seen again since the distillery only operated for a couple of years, or the, rather the, the distillery made this particular make for only a couple of years. <laughs> 